Okay, here's the firearm. There's nothing wrong with it that I can see mechanically. Everything works as it, as it seems like it should. Now the first, the problem is this piece right here. That the uh, that longer lug piece that the rod fits in. This is a replacement piece that you sent me, and it's too narrow, and we have all this side wobble in it like that. And if you look at the original piece, that one fit in the that one fit in the uh, that one fit in the dovetail fine. The original one. Oh, magnets are fun sometimes, aren't they? Look at the skinny one that you sent. That was the original. Or the, the one you sent. The one that's on the gun now. That one fits the dovetail tight. The one on the end of my screwdriver magnet was the original one that fit the rod correctly, but which just fell out of the dovetail. It was too loose. And you, you see, I don't know how they machine, how they could get them that far off. Uh, the back part of that piece, I turn it around. Aside from being notched for the uh, rod to keep from falling out, actually, there, you can see it's, it's round, it's machined round down in, that actually the ejector rod actually fits in. I didn't have any side wobble on this one, it seated in fine. The only problem was this didn't fit the dovetail. So, again, I need one the size of the one on the magnet that fits the dovetail. How can they be that much different? I don't understand if, if they're hand ground or what, but that's like totally two different pieces. Jeremy, I hope this explains it. I mean, we weren't doing too well in the email. Okay, thanks, buddy.